There is a magic eye drop. Just with one drop you can go into a dream. In dreams you will feel exactly like you feel the real world. You can do whatever you want with no time constraints. Ren is an elite female programmer. Her father is the one who discovered VR techniques, a mixture of reality and virtual. After that, Ren improved the technique into an eye drop. With just one drop, you can enter the virtual world that has been designed. Virtual worlds have the same experience as the real world. Here, you can do whatever you want. For example, challenging things that you normally would not dare to try. It is important that no matter how many days or nights you are here, it will only take a few seconds when you return to reality. Having such a great achievement, Ren was not complacent. Every day she is dressed normally, carrying a computer, walking in the middle of the crowd, with her short hair. Only her eyes seem to be filled with concerns. In fact, four years ago, Ren and her brother went into a dream. They together went diving in the sea, but unexpectedly her brother crashed into the reef. His brain nerves are damaged and turned into a vegetative state. Ren always tried to wake her brother up. Ren hopes that the inserted memories will help him recover. Since then, the goal is to restore brain damage. But her father thinks the technology is still flawed. For example, in dreams, users will experience many symptoms such as brain death, epilepsy. He thought that instead of letting his son continue to endure the pain, it would be better to stop the treatment. This caused many conflicts between Ren and her father. Funding is indispensable to develop this project. Ren found a partner named Sam. Sam is a good businessman, never letting himself lose. He is aware of the eye drop's potential, not only limited to experience, but also more likely to grow bigger. He formed a research group. The features of this project are increasingly rich in the fields of education, military. Seeing that the project is about to be applied to the society, Ren and Sam have a conflict. Ren said that it is better to wait until her brother has completely recovered. But Sam could not wait any longer, he was eager to make money. Sam works with the government to develop a virtual detention technology. This technology can lock criminals into an alternative prison created before. That could relieve prison overcrowding. But Ren did not agree with that plan. The two quarreled fiercely and left unhappy. Arriving home, Ren found her boyfriend, Danny, to come to comfort her. Ren explains her research to him and shares a skiing simulation. Since Ren did not pay attention, Danny tries another simulation unsupervised. Danny doesn't know it is the experimental one Ren has designed for her brother. Although he was rescued, Danny did not survive. Ren was accused of deliberately conducting human experiments without permission. After discussing, Sam asked Ren to do an experiment for the virtual prison. The time of solitary confinement is one year. If she agreed, Ren could be excused. A year in the alternative prison is equal to one day in the real world. That doesn't affect her future life. With no alternative, Ren had to accept becoming a virtual prison experience. The medicine started to be put in Ren's eyes. When Ren woke up, she was in a cell that was sealed on all sides. In a drawer, each day there is automatic food and water supply. There was also a large screen on the wall that recorded time passing each day. The loneliness and despair poured out in Ren's heart. She lived in torment for indirectly killing her boyfriend. In such a lonely space, Ren could only talk to herself. On the last day of her detention term, Ren brushed her teeth and washed her face thoroughly in preparation to return to reality. Unexpectedly, the number on the screen from 365 turned to 001. Ren realized at this point that she might have been tricked by Sam. Sam wants to monopolize this project as well as the company. Perhaps he had no intention of letting Ren return to the real world in the first place. Ren was desperate, she smashed everything in the prison. At this moment, Ren found a way to get out. Ren found out she was in an abandoned factory. A monitor is installed in a room here. At this moment, Ren realized that maybe this was not a virtual world, but the real world. She was actually detained for a year. Ren ran away. After a year in detention, she still couldn't be compatible with this world. At this point, Sam has completely monopolized the company. Ren went to the police station to report. The police said Ren had been missing since a year ago. But when Ren brought the police to where she was held, the prison was destroyed, with no evidence left. Police assumed she was delusional. Ren went to her best friend. Her friend said that Danny was saved a year ago, and he never died. Ren extremely surprised, she went to find Danny. Upon hearing what Ren went through, the three determined to take everything back from Sam. Ren's concern was not only the virtual world project, but also her brother's safety. Ren and Danny sneaked into the company, stealing the hard drives, because in this hard disk there is a virtual system dedicated to treating her brother, she put the drops in his eyes. After that, Ren's brother miraculously woke up. 
but the risk come, he develops epilepsy. His mind is not alert. Ren decided to pull out her brother's breathing tube, so he could be freed from this painful life. Ren sat on the hospital bed blankly looking at her brother. At this time, Sam went. At this moment, a familiar scene appeared before Ren's eyes. It turned out that Ren wasn't awake yet, it was all in her dream. Her brother is still alive. Danny is actually dead. At this point, Ren understood her father's concern. This virtual system can bring infinite hallucinations to people, but in the end, people cannot live forever in illusion. She decided to take the system to leave the company, but was opposed by Sam. He said that in her dream, Ren relied on her subjective consciousness to successfully break out of the prison and she could create the following scenes. Sam tried to put the medicine in Ren's eyes again. This time, Sam wants Ren to be completely locked up in the virtual world. But based on previous experience in the virtual prison, Ren quickly regained her consciousness. She quickly smeared the rest of the eye drops into Sam's eyes. This time, in return, Sam is locked in a virtual prison. She did that partly to release her anger, and partly for Sam to experience a sense of desperation in that virtual prison. A year later, the number on the screen returned to the original number. Despair mixed with despair. This is the punishment Ren gave Sam. Finally, in the real world, Ren decided to pull out her brother's life-sustaining device. She understands that letting things go naturally is the best outcome. She also gave up on the virtual world project. She decided to cherish every moment, every person in her current life. Then she won't have to regret anything anymore. The movie here is the end. Thank you for watching. Follow my page to watch more film review.